Hi everybody. I'm standing in my backyard getting some fresh air between Christmas and New Year's Day. Um, I'm recording this on Thursday the 29th. And I just wanted to say to all my UBC family, thank you. Thank you. One more time. Thank you for the patience you have shown to me and to the enormous grace and space that you have given to me since October when I had to take off completely, um, but also since July when I was first diagnosed and having symptoms that kept setting me back um, through September, August and September. Uh, I now know what it's like to have a chronic health issue. Some of you, many of you have chronic health issues that disrupt your daily life without warning. So I'll be turning to you for further guidance as we continue walking this journey together into the new year and trying to figure things out. I told somebody I'm not going to be getting back into the swing of things because that implies getting back into the way things were. And I can't function the way things were anymore. Um, so I'm going to be getting into a forging a new path into a new swing of things. Again, something many of you already know something about. So please share with me. Let's do this together. That's what a community is all about. Again, thank you for your space and the grace for the time off to recover and relax and reflect. I'm going to challenge us uh, in the new year that we we make time to do these things. Um, and I'll tell you why, because I think sometimes in the hustle and bustle and hurriedness of our life, including making our plans for what we want our church to do and be, we forget what the psalmist says, to be still. To be still and know that God is God, which reminds us sometimes, and we need a, a lot of reminding, that we are not God. Thank you for the time for me to be still. And over the last two years, the church has had time to be still, and we are emerging uh, into a new time in our world and into a new stage of our church. So uh, the vision team will be having a retreat. UBC leadership is having a retreat at the very end of January with a CBF leader, Davida Parnell, a good friend of Sarah's and mine. And uh, she'll be coming here to Starkville and doing a retreat called Dawnings. Dawning, a new beginning, right? With our UBC leadership. And uh, I invite all of us this weekend, we'll have another pre-recorded service for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day weekend, but you watch it at your convenience. But note, it is an hour long. But it's an important journey of where we've come from, how God has started and shaped a new movement called UBC in Starkville, and get us all thinking about that together as a community as we begin to meet again in January and see where God is leading us together. So I invite you to watch that at your convenience this weekend, celebrate what God has done, and begin to ponder what God may be ready to do in January. And I will see you again in person January the 8th back at the Fellowship Hall. I love each and every one of you. God bless you. Grace and peace and Happy New Year.